everybody. I haven't made a video in a long time, so might as well show you something that I've made recently. This is a 16 step sequencer. Created to look sort of like a piece of old equipment that's been recovered and salvaged and repurposed for my own evil deeds. <laughs> anyway. You can see it light up really nicely here. Something happened there. And uh, yeah, so it's a 16 step sequencer. It's got a gate out and a CV out. And uh, each step is providing control voltage via these trim pots. I'm trying to do this in the same sort of style as the um, Lunetta that I've been building. We've seen a video about this before. It's using the same kind of patch style with these header pins. Um, and I also have options up here to use banana jacks. Because I'm trying to, trying to sort of uh, make some things that look a little bit more polished, look a little bit better in the end. So, yeah. Let's just turn this off for a second and I'll go through some of the features. It's not your typical sort of Baby 10 style sequencer that uses a 4017 chip, the uh, decade counter. Instead, what this does is it uses two chips that are kind of interacting with each other. And what they are, I'll show you over here, is the, um, so it's the 4029. So this is a binary counter. And you put a clock in, a clock signal in, and it sends out um, four bits at a binary word and that's controlling a 16 channel multiplexer which is 4067 here so voltage comes into the main channel and then depending on which the binary channel selects selects which one of these channels comes out each of those channels is connected to a switch and an LED and a potentiometer or a trim pot and uh, those are all connected to a common bus and it comes out of the end and then we can see here the clock out or the gate out signal so what you do is you take the end of um, the clock input and whatever gate sort of pulse signal that this sends out and whenever both are on at the same time you get your gate out so that's how we can trigger we're using the SN voice here so this has some cool uses to it because one thing that's really cool about this 4029 um, binary counter is that it can go backwards so you just flip a switch I've connected that one pin of the IC to a switch and it can go to a backwards counter, so it's an up-down counter. How cool is that? The other thing that's cool about this is that if you want it to be a decade counter and you want to do your typical kind of 10-step, baby 10 type of thing, see? 4029 can also be a decade counter. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> we have reset. Or a reset button here. This isn't connected to anything. This would be a um, simple attenuator for the CV, but I want the whole range, so I haven't connected that together yet. Now, there's something really cool about the 4029 that we haven't really seen a whole lot of before and that's these J inputs so these are connected to sort of the reset button so we can tell this chip which step to start on and that's connected to these pins here so what's kind of cool and novel about this sequencer is that we can have this sequence be completely jammed up and crazy. I'll just
I'll just go into what signal is being going is going into the clock signal now. All it is is your typical sort of 4093 oscillator that's using a Schmidt trigger oscillator, and that is going through a divider, the 4040 divider, and then that divided signal is coming through here. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some weird connections and things and I'm going to try and come up with some funny data to put into the jam inputs. And I'll see you when we get back. Cool. So I've set up just some logic connections, right? Nothing even all that crazy. And, um... This is just with the basic clock in signal, right? And I've run some um, some clocks through some gates and through some shift registers and through some other stuff. And um, so now I can connect them to these four pins here, which are on the uh, 4029 binary counter. Now remember that this button is for resetting. Because it's connected to a pin, we can make that controllable. If we just tie it to a logic 1, that's just tied to a constantly on signal. So let's just start connecting some stuff. For example, Okay, that's something. We've only got one bit going into... Whoa, sorry. We've only got one bit going into the jam connections here. I don't know the real name of it. I'm just calling it jam connection because somebody on the Deathlehen forum... That's cool. See, the more bits you add, the more complex words you get. And since they're all out of sync, using these logic gates, you get really kind of interesting song ideas. So that's with three connected. With four connected, it gets really crazy. So now I'm going to disconnect the clock from its constantly on signal and I'm going to send it to something that goes on and off a little bit more intermittently. The output of this uh, shift register, for example. Let's try that. So yeah, that's the 16-step uh, up-down sequencer. So um, please subscribe and um, comment and check mark and and all that good stuff. And uh, check out the electromusic.com forum and check out the description of this video for uh, links to the um, the drawings on how to make this thing yourself. And I'll also show you some pictures of the of the build in progress. So yeah. Thank you.